This is the Google Nest Hub Max. It is a smart home display that also uses Google Assistant, shows your photos. Actually, if you're familiar with the old Google Home Hub, it's the same thing, just with a bigger 10 inch screen and a camera for doing video calls. The Google Nest Hub Max has a 10 inch display and it's an HD display, which means it's probably not like ultra high resolution, but it's HD. More importantly though, is it has this magical color temperature matching thing that they did with the original Google Home Hub. So photos look like actual photos instead of just a TV screen sitting on your counter. So if you look at the front of the device, you'll see there's a couple of microphones that only needs two. And then there's this color temperature sensor, which does the magical color temperature thing. And then of course, there is the camera. And if you're wondering, there is a physical switch on the back. The mic and camera are off. Which disconnects the camera and the microphone physically, even though you don't see a little shutter on the front. It's a like 6.5 megapixel camera, but you shouldn't care about the megapixel count. The important thing is that it's there for duo video chats. Um, and it has a 127 degree field of view, which is super wide. So it'll pick up the whole room. And even though this thing is angled up, it should pick up little children down you know, near the counter. It does another neat trick where it will follow you if you want it to. So it'll try and keep faces in frame and zoom in on them just a little bit. So it looks like a nicer video chat. All that's kind of table stakes for a smart speaker. We've seen all that stuff before, even ones that have a display. Uh, what's new here, I mean, they've got a couple of front firing tweeters and a woofer, but I wanna go back to that camera because that is why this is a Google Nest product, not just a, you know another Google product, because it does a bunch of Nest-like things. One, it can become a Nest security camera. So you can, from your phone, open up the Nest app and turn this thing into a Nest security camera. So that's cool, but the Google Nest sort of tie up, they're rebranding the whole division into Google Nest now, um, means that this does a few things that Google thinks is really forward looking towards what ambient computing in your home is gonna look like. And one of those things is this camera can recognize your face. You set it up in the phone and then it stores your facial recognition data locally on the device so it doesn't have to go up to the cloud. And then when you walk in the room, it sees you, it shows a little icon showing your head, and then it's able to give you your personal information instead of just general random Google information. Oh, there's one more thing the camera lets you do. It lets you play and pause videos with a gesture. You just kind of hold your hand up and it'll pause, and then you can hold your hand up again and it'll start playing again. So the Google Nest Hub Max costs $229 and it's coming out in July. And if you're curious, the, uh, the little guy is also getting a rename. It's gonna become the Google Nest Hub, but the rest of the Google Home products aren't getting renamed. This is a new you know, division, new tie up inside the company. And so they're gonna release more products under the new branding as time goes on. Anyway, we are excited to try this thing out. It comes in both charcoal and white, even though the bezel is always white because it looks like a photo frame. And honestly, photos look great on it. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Would you buy a Google Nest Hub Max? Let me know in the comments. And also, Google I.O. is happening and we have a ton of Google I.O. content coming, so keep it locked to The Verge.